uh, Tesla was under the most relentless short seller attack in the history of the stock market. Uh, there's something called short and distort. Okay, this is MXUX. This is a short video on how short and distort works. And this is something that uh, needs a lot of attention from the government. I just want to make a disclaimer before I start this. This is a thought exercise. Uh, this is what based on what a short and distort would look like to a retail investor. This is conjecture. None of this information is factual, but it is likely and very possible to happen. This is part of a business case study I'm doing on the myth of entrepreneurship in the American economy. Uh, these are some key points to help you identify this tactic. And I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Seek professional guidance before you make any investment. You could lose all your money. Okay? Um, where the barrage of, of negativity that Tesla was experiencing from short sellers in Wall Street was beyond all belief. Te Tesla was the most shorted stock in the history of stock markets. Yeah. This is saying something. So, you know, this was affecting our ability to hire people. It was affecting our ability to sell cars. Um, it was, uh, they were, yeah, it was terrible. Um, th th yeah, th they wanted Tesla to die so bad they could taste it. Well, most of them have paid the price. Yes. We're going to start with a mythical company that's going to be the topic of this uh, short and distort attack, the widget company. It's a startup in the battery electric vehicle space. They have a unique product, okay? So they have a unique selling point. They have intellectual property, uh, manufacturing techniques, uh, engineering concepts, design, so forth. So again, unique selling point in a crowded market. Uh, they have financed privately until now. And they want to IPO or SPAC to start mass production and uh, marketing and launch sales in the United States. Typical EV story. Widget company, please wait to go public. There will be an army of naysayers out to destroy and overwhelm you. There is a cabal <laughs> of deep business interests uh working in our economy uh to pr to protect the status quo and uh, well let me just go through the presentation to tell you what i think of it here's the deal they and i have they in co quotes uh once you go public okay there's a target on your back they have laws they can use against you there is press they can use against you. There is listing requirements they can use against you. So once you go public, uh, the gloves are off. They, in quotes, view you as an existential threat. Uh, they will go after you personally, and I'm talking about the management there. They will go after your technology, and they will try to discredit it. Uh, they will go after your integrity, your personal integrity. They will attack it. Uh, they will go after your stock and finances, not only your company's finances, but your personal finances in the form of, uh, well, we'll go through that later. They will try to put you in jail, okay? Uh, this is a zero-sum game, and there is only one winner in this game uh, to them, uh, they, okay? And there is a they cabal out there, believe me. I mean, it's not paranoia if it's if somebody's really after you, okay? Um, first, the stock. Okay, this is rudimentary stuff. They will buy your IPO or stock, SPAC when it comes out, sell it peak quickly, standard move, okay? Drive the price down immediately. Um, from, you know, it'll it's the same trajectory. Okay, I don't need to go over that. I don't think with you guys. They will have set up short positions and given their subscribers advance notice. So soon, uh, even before this, they they will have everything will be in place. Uh, this is a this is a trap. It's all going to be set up 
by the cabal before before even before this report comes out um because there's this is all inside baseball this is the worst kept secret in wall street uh because they will make money at every turn you gotta understand um you got guys on wall street like tom lee who are kind of quants who do a lot of research and uh really have some gravitas then you got these and i'll tell you they like to hire a lot of uh football players for that team spirit you know these traders and these guys these options guys hey you know hey we're out here in the trenches every day and we're teamwork you know these are a bunch of brain damaged ex football players okay they need this okay they need to have this kind of activity especially these hedge funds guys and i was just watching uh i'm not going to say who it was but very well known commentator they're talking oh yeah well and and they start talking about this and they go well you know we have to disclose that you know we we are shorters what they were saying is they get the reports of this company and of course uh, uh this this is how this works this is how these hedge funds operate and again these guys uh, they're not <laughs> believe me they got the day-to-day -day knowledge. They have no deep knowledge. These guys are relying on this. You know, Steve Tyler said, you know, when Aerosmith was at the peak, yeah, we were doing drugs. We needed them drugs to get through. That's just like these hedge fund guys. This is a drug to them. They need this to get through. They need these short and distort campaigns to make money to, so they don't lose their jobs, so their funds don't go over. They have to have it. They're not smart enough to do it otherwise. Anyway. These guys will make money at every turn. Uh, they're ruthless and street smart. They have no respect for anyone else. But, you know, greed is good, right? Wall Street. The goal will be to drive the price of your stock down to close to zero as possible. Or even zero. Or, well, you know, let's just say get it delisted. And uh, they will employ allies to make this happen. Allegedly, various related professional organizations, associations, will be behind this. Hedge funds. This is the cabal. Hedge funds. Just finance in general. Okay? The major finance uh, investment banks and so forth. Uh, legacy manufacturer competitors. Um, FUD Manufacturing Investment Advisory Services. Newsletters, subscription-based uh, services. Um, there's going to be Reddit board and Reddit board trolls and Reddit board topics. Uh, Discord servers. There's going to be trolls out there. There's going to be YouTube content providers that are going to be on board with this. Uh, you know, there's a lot of YouTubers that, that are past Wall Streeters. And, you know, they still have their contacts, okay? Um, that's all I'm going to say. And you got social media as well, you know, the whole Instagram, Facebook uh, aspect of all this. Uh, this is where the process begins, okay? And intense federal investigation is needed here. What is the genesis? What starts these short uh, and distort campaigns? You know, who, what is the motivation? Because these are the head racketeers in all this. And it could be many, all, none. Uh, but this is what we really need to know. Um, let's move forward. This is where the, 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 the federal government needs to come in. Allies, tools against you, okay? Here's what they're going to use. They're going to use the business print media. They're going to use the business online media. They're going to use business talk show hosts in on the game, okay? And I do, I think there are. I think there absolutely are media personalities in on this. Many of them are past hedge fund managers. Many of them have close associations with hedge funds. Um, I mean, uh, just human nature. Uh, again, the Reddit board, the YouTube, the social media trolls. It's going to move. This is going to get local with you as well. The local media outlets near you are going to start uh, regurgitating 
this information and it's going to be picked up uh by youtubers and most social media and so forth and regurgitated to give it um authenticity uh business cable media forget about it stock and trade in my opinion and eventually the mainstream media you know network tv whatever you want to call it major papers and so forth are also going to buy into all this it's uh manufacturing consent okay uh chomsky again this is what it's all about. This has nothing to do with the product. This has nothing to do with the company. This has nothing to do with the uh, uh, the technology. This is unbridled greed. And also can be totally anti-competitive, looking to delay the introduction of a competitive product or destroy a company that's producing a, a competitive product or to uh, sustain or um, guarantee a monopoly ownership of a market segment. This is, this is really uh, hurting our country as a whole, hurting our technical development. Um, this, this greed, and again, this is hand in hand, and it, and it could be finance. It, it could be a business interest. This cabal has many forms. It doesn't matter. It's all about greed, and it is dampening, killing our entrepreneurial spirit and uh, killing our new technology. Basically, the only technology that can, that can be launched in America now is stuff nobody understands, like Planeteer. Okay? I got a video coming up on that. The Allies are going to, allegedly, they're going to get a research firm uh, to execute a short and distort campaign. Uh, the question is, you know, do these research firms start these campaigns on their own, or are they contacted and paid to do this? This is something the Fed needs to investigate. We all know who these research firms are. They come out with the report, oh, the big headline, oh, blah, blah, blah uh finds uh, flaws in uh, you know blah 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 is a hoax and this and that okay you know who i'm talking about uh they're going to get a research firm of this nature and by the way these research firms you think they got a skyscraper they got detectives working for them they got 100 200 people working on this they're out there beating the bushes for leads and no it's five guys in a boiler room okay and, and and they're going to do a so-called investigative report, okay? And they're going to call up disgruntled ex-employees. They're going to dig up old f Facebook posts on your company. All this uh, trash journalism is going to take place, and it's going to be represented as some, oh, research report. It's nothing of the nature. It's merely a document development uh, developed to implement this campaign has very little to do with the actual company or the leadership or anything else and uh you know and i saw these guys talking the other day these uh these hedge fund guys uh you know doing the uh oh you know hey how's the market today report you know and uh you know they're saying oh you know these uh, these reports are value you know what these reports have little or no value, okay? They have nothing to do with reality. This is about market manipulation. That's all it is. And um, these reports are filled with half-truths, falsehoods, and lies. And, you know, if you, if you get instructions from a judge about testimony in a court case, the judge is going to say if, if, if a person is caught in one lie, you can disregard all the whole testimony. Not so. These guys, uh, you know, they can have a shred of like a semantic, tiny kernel of a barely truth, which is, you know, massaged into an issue. And that's, that's what everyone believes. It's total, uh, again, manufacturing consent. Uh, this is what widget company outdated videos of the original vehicle concept will be used as evidence. They'll dig up these old YouTube videos. They'll put a little segment on there, heavily edited, and they're going to say, oh, it's unsafe. Bankruptcy looting. Uh, CEOs are bad. 
when it's not even of the current product. You know, it's some test version of the product. That's just an example. Uh, then the allies, and these these are the the forces that use that subscribe to these reports or that sponsor these reports. Allegedly, research firm research firm will provide advanced copies of their uh, report, the yellow journalism, to their subscribers, which are these hedge fund guys I'm talking about that are on TV all the time, the talking heads, the whales, the option traders, and the allies all over the place. And this includes political people, I'm sure, or maybe these reports are past the political people. Um, industry people i'm sure uh I, i'm sure there's a whole host of people that are that are in on this like, like i said the worst kept secret in, on wall street and this is all going to happen these advanced copies are all going to go out well before this is released to the public massive short positions are going to be put in place uh you know stock is going to be called uh, bought in case there's a short squeeze and so forth they're going to set up all these. It's going to be like setting up a minefield. They're going to put a mine here. They're going to put a mine here. When you blow up on that one, this one's going to blow up. That one's going to blow up. They're going to have everything in place so that when this is announced, boom, they're going to suck all the money out of this stock. Um, report will then be announced with the help of the business press and media. Yellow journalism at its finest. Again, a kernel, a half a kernel of a, of a massaged minor barely true you know you know some minor misquote of a number something of this nature you know which uh you know the firm is going to have to admit to because of legal you know they're going to throw the proverbial bowl of spaghetti against the wall and they're going to see what sticks and uh, by the way uh all these allies uh the print media and the business media and the online media and everything um with the case of anti-competitive corporate uh, issues in this, they're all going to play ball on this because these major corporations all advertise on their services, okay? There's no way they can take a position against them. Allegedly, the widget is going to, they're going to be gobsmacked at the ludicrous claims because they're going to be focused on product development. They're going to be fo focused on engineering production real work, and all of a sudden, out of the blue, this is going to show up, okay? There's going to be too many uh, ludicrous claims to even to respond to, 20, 30. Uh, the stock will fall dramatically and quickly. Uh, these research firms uh, who have attorneys on retainer are going to file lawsuits. They're going to buy, you know, 120 shares of the stock, and then they're going to file a shareholder's lawsuit uh, against the company uh, to uh, give them some gravitas, okay? They're going to say, oh, these they misled us, blah, blah, blah. Um, the business media, you know how this works. They're all going to get in the queue to start the attacks. Every one, one after the other, after the other, after the other, after the other. No sense of any investigation, no sense of questioning any of these charges, nothing straight on cooperation manufacturing uh, consent and then uh, from there uh, from the business media it's going to move into the mainstream media it's going to pop up on news feeds on social media and google news and whoever else and uh, it's going to be mentioned uh, on uh, tv and it's going to say oh wow look at this headline you know this is how it's going to move it's going to go from a tight uh, circle to bigger to bigger to bigger and um, Widget is going to get legal counsel. And the SAG expenses start. There's one company I know this happened to. 10% of their quarterly expenses are legal. Legal. Because of this. This is another way they cripple these companies. There's no way they can... They have to get counsel. Anyway... And Widget is going to allegedly, counsel will tell Widget CEOs to shut up, okay? Because that's a standard uh, legal advice. Lawyer up, 
Uh, the response to the short report will be slow in coming from third party. They're going to get some prestigious law firm or accounting firm to methodically go through every detail. And Widget is just being methodical with this response, but it's going to look bad to the public and the stockholders and the regulators. And they're going to assume the worst because it's taken so long. Um, while this is going on, the press will go into a frenzy of activity, pushing down widget stock as per major advertisers' wishes. You know, it's all big, uh, a big machine. Um, an ill-advised CEO response appearance on a business cable talk show will be twisted into a new problem. And this is what they're going to do. And they're going to parse out uh, a, a video segment and they're going to put a tagline in, you know, what the widget or whatever they decide to uh, define, to redefine the company, okay? And uh, somebody's going to go on TV and, uh, you know, he's going to give an Oscar performance or she's going to give an Oscar performance talking about how bad this report is and how, uh, you know, no one should invest in this company and this raises serious questions. Again, manufacturing consent. Which is going to, allegedly, now the federal agents, the SEC and the DOJ is going to enter because all this is out there, okay? Additionally, this is, you know, your corporate backers of this, your monopolist backers of this, for example. They're, it's going to be their political campaign contributions at work because they're going to get their political contacts to go to the SEC and the DOJ and tell them, look, you got to look at this. This is how. Um, it's because the SEC uh, knew that funding was secured, um, but they pursued the, uh, an active public investigation nonetheless. At the time, Tesla was in a precarious financial situation. And I was told by the banks that if I did not agree to, to settle with the SEC, that they would, the banks would cease providing working capital and Tesla would go bankrupt immediately. How it works. This is, this is a whole other aspect of this uh, Venn diagram where all these intersecting um, factors come into play to take down these companies. Um, a secret investigation will be announced by the SEC. And... I have in the past video a guy that was investigated by the SEC for six years based on their AI program, which stated that he was doing insider trading, which he was not. But a six-year investigation was found not guilty, no announcement by the SEC, no vindication, six years of legal expenses. Okay? This is another debilitating thing that uh, is a result of this. Also, and you can look for this. And I do believe that this is an aspect as well. Now, we've all had the recent action with the insider buying, buying and selling by members of Congress and the Senate uh, in the United States, that all coming uh, to called to task for this. Local congressmen and senators are going are to get on board with this report. And they're going to be doing blurbs. And they're going to be doing blurbs on TV. Well, you know, I... Uh, uh, I think this company has to be investigated. And don't kid yourself. In my opinion, they are in on this. And even if these stock bans go into place with the Senate, I'm not sure that they have with our elected officials not buying stock. Their brother-in-law is going to buy the stock. You know, their cousin's going to buy the stock. Whoever the straw man is going to be. These guys need to be investigated as well, okay? And then, again, the lo local and national press is going to kick in. And, again, these local articles are going to be quoted uh, to give the whole thing uh, authenticity by bigger presses and so forth and so on. And it's going to appear in, you know, whatever your main business newspaper is. There's going to be a front page or a quarter page article on it. Again, never questioning anything, any of the statements or never conducting an investigation of their own. Totally one-sided. Simply repeating and manufacturing consent on this topic. Uh, the CEO is going to face rumors of criminal prosecution at some point. The CEO is going to be forced out of Widget because Widget isn't going to have any choice. And he's going to be a, a, 
a stand-up guy who who started this whole company and he's going to have to leave to take the the spotlight off and the target off of the company and this is a standard thing too and then they're going to go what 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 the ultimate goal of this is is to get a going concern notice filed uh and thereby driving the stock down and having them collect more and more money on their shirts and you know uh, it's going to put the company in the position of being delisted and this this is what happens to the the most prom you know some of the most promising companies and the most promising technology uh facing uh they okay this is only what could happen okay now if there's a company out there and i can think of a couple that are that are facing this and i'll just give you my two cents i know nothing but having done a bunch of videos on this i can tell you the uh the best way to counter this uh, threat Call, uh, cultivate a squadron of social media youtube influence to get the facts out use the tesla model tesla claimed not to have any advertising budget they do have an advertising budget they did they gave away roadsters. They had referral links. They, they very generous referral links uh, that these YouTube and social media developers used uh, in their uh, presentations. They uh, got cars and so on and so forth. Use the Tesla, Tesla model. Be generous. Cultivate a squadron of social social media uh, media uh, supporters. Uh, this is this is the only this is the only thing that's that's going to save you on the on the PR front. Stay private as long as possible. Establish credit lines for this event as soon as possible. Uh, don't wait. Keep a strong balance sheet. Keep your debt down. Stupid. Everybody knows that. And here's one thing: prepare prepare for it if you're a, a company that's anticipating an IPO or a SPAC. This is going to happen. Have a war room ready. Have responses ready. Have an investigative team ready. Uh, be ready to respond. Who knows? Legal counsel, whatever it may be. Uh, allies in your corner. Uh, cultivate uh, political allies, whatever the case may be. Prepare for it. I don't think anybody is prepared for this when it happens. They're not prepared for the tsunami of hate. <laughs> and misinformation that just washes over these companies they do not have uh the staff in place to respond uh and most importantly make sales and have revenues before any public offering if at all possible even if you only make a handful of sales even if you have a small amount of uh revenue um this will be a you know you can this this will be your your tent pole that you you can start your response from now the sec is updating new rules now there's been some recent activity in this by the sec and the doj and they proposed some new rules uh initially and it required uh, uh these uh people doing these short positions to report within 15 minutes to a to a governing body uh and then uh they were moved to at least uh, hold a short permission position of at least 10 million or two percent five percent of or more of the total shares outstanding so you see they're they're watering this down as they go uh john stewart uh his podcast he he interviewed an sec guy and he explains this in detail the the battle they have against this the exchanges which are for for profit businesses and everybody else filing lawsuits against them to try to tamp down what they're doing um but anyway you can see how this is is being watered down and watered down now they're they are investigating they want to use rico they have brought up the turn rico uh but um uh, are they i don't know and i have down here uh, casablanca i'm shocked shocked to see gambling here you know that quote 
because the SEC uh, knew that funding was secured, um, but they pursued the, uh, an active public investigation nonetheless. At the time, tw uh, Tesla was in a precarious financial situation, and I was told by the banks that if I did not agree to, to settle with the SEC, that they would, the banks would cease providing working capital and Tesla would go bankrupt immediately. So that's like having a gun to your child's head. Uh, so I was forced to concede to the SEC unlawfully, those bastards. Uh, <coughs> you know, the SEC is, like I said, this is the worst kept secret on Wall Street. Now, it's gone from 15 minutes to a monthly basis. Okay? So, you know, it looks like this is is going backwards already. Um, I would say right to your congressman or right to your, your senator, but you know what? They're probably in on this too. They're probably working to get this water down. So, um, I don't know, groundswell. Something needs to be done about this. Um, you know, a Fed commission? I don't know. I don't know. Some superordinate uh political uh group uh has to be formed to look into this organized crime let's get the department of justice on it i don't know i have down here the sec and the doj should conduct a far-reaching rico investigation rico was passed in 1970 this was a law that was used to beat the mafia in new york city the so-called mafia I don't know if they exist, exist. okay, allegedly the Mafia. Uh, the Racketeer Influence in Corrupt Organizations Act. So it says that it's something like if you made uh, two or more actions to influence an outcome, a criminal, criminally related outcome, that you are a racketeer and you are part of a corrupt organization. And it's a federal law designed to combat organized crime in the United States. So under that definition, that rough definition, not a lawyer, every lead, and I'm talking business, social media, finance, political, and you can just go through a case study on one of these companies that has suffered, suffered a SPAC attack, and you can, you can very easily identify who these whole, all, all these parties are uh, that are commenting on this and likely benefiting from it. And they need to investigate. They need to do a content analysis of these campaigns, of the media, of the social media, of the political media, all, the political response, all of this stuff. And they need to go to these individuals' trades and, you know, their wife's trades or their cousin's trades or whatever, and they need to track their trades, their stock trades, and they need to find and prosecute these individuals who are involved in this organized corrupt uh, organization, uh, and they need to prosecute them, and they need to set an example uh, for the rest of these evildoers, because this is, again, this is hurting America's technology lead in the world. This is uh, damaging our economy. This is 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 causing uh, monopolistic political, I mean, uh, business practices to go forward that are causing consumers to pay higher prices than they need to, denying consumers of the uh, technology uh, that would better their lives and be of lower cost to them and so forth. Anyway, uh, that's it. I hope this wasn't too long. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I have a bunch of uh, videos scheduled that I'm working on. Short and distort. Um, you know, maybe we ought to bring this up to everybody that's running for office, uh, including the president, and ask them, um, what are they going to do? When someone's getting reelected, what are you going to do about short and distort? Because this affects all of us retail investors, okay? Yeah, I mean, it's difficult to put yourself in the position at the time. Tesla was under the most relentless short seller attack in the history of the stock market.
All these inside guys, they're fleecing us. All right, thanks a lot.